Hi guys, this is Julie from Julie Lynn Soaps, and today I'm going to make some Chanel number no. 5 cold process soap cupcakes. And um, just getting started here, I was going to do it the heat transfer method. So, in here are my oils. I've got um, some kaolin clay in there. And this is my lye solution. I've got some silk in there. So I'm going to pour in my lye water. Stir this a little bit. You just have to heat transfer method. You just have to keep stirring, and it'll melt those oils and butters. You just have to keep stirring it. I kind of like doing it this way. I used to make sure the temperatures were just right and everything, and. I kind of prefer doing it this way. After putting the last solution in, the oils are up to about 112. And I've never soaked with this Chanel number no. five type before, so I'm hoping it doesn't like totally seize up on me. But I think I'm gonna add it in after I mix my colors and the oils and stuff just to be safe. But sometimes still that doesn't matter. If it's gonna seize up, it's gonna seize up. Almost melted. It's got a few chunklets in there. Just about there.
finally a pretty day here today in Alabama. It's been very cloudy and rainy and gloomy and but it is New Year's Eve today. So my plans are to make soap tonight. I don't really like going out to crowded places and stuff like that. I like to just chill at home. I used to like to go out to on New Year's Eve and stuff, but it's just, I don't know. I just prefer to stay in now. Okay, I think we are ready to stick blend. So it might get noisy. I'm gonna What I'm going to do is a pink pig by Be Scented, and I'm going to do a gold sparkle mica, and I might mix some of this matte gold in from matte oils. We'll see how the colors look. Y'all can see what I'm doing. Kind of new at this video thing, so I'm, please excuse any. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kind of new at it. Alright. Okay. So let's do the gold first. I'm going to turn this fan off. Usually Mike goes back to fly around. Let's see here. I want that pretty gold, so let's try that. Gloves are a little big. And let's see. Of course, I'm wearing goggles, by the way. You should always wear goggles when you're working with soap batters and la. Okay. That's putty. I like that. Okay. 
That is a very pretty color. Might put a little more in there, I don't know. We'll see. There's the gold. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the, a little bit of the mad oils gold in there. Yeah, too much might come out. Maybe a little bit. I'll see how that looks. Pretty. I think that'll do. Okay. So now we'll stick blend these colors and then I'll add the fragrance and mix that in. Little itty bitty containers that their samples come in. Okay. Pretty color. I like that pink pig. That's from Be Scented. Jen is so sweet. I love watching her videos. And they have some good stuff at Be Scented. Okay. So now I'm going to add the fragrance in bravely. Icing or anything like that yet. Okay. Yeah. Acting a little funky. 
think it'll be okay. Eh, and then I'm splashing it. Okay, so let me get my tray over here. Hopefully y'all can see. Oops, sorry. smoothed it back out. I don't know why just the pink did it and not the gold. Hmm. Just one of those soapy mysteries. Or a gremlin. <laughs> Occasionally the gremlins show their ugly little faces. We've all had them. Okay. Now, can you all see? I'm trying to here. Okay. Yep, yeah, it's thickening up pretty good. Gloppy glop. Mm, I'm gonna stir this a little bit. Hopefully our gold. No, gold's getting really, really thick. Okay. I need to work a little faster here. Pour these. We can do this. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Now. I'm not really worried about it dipping into each other. Getting messy. Okay. 
A little mini cake. I think I'm just going to... Do the gold in there. Like I said in another video, I found these little cake molds at Dollar Tree and they're so cute. I've already made three or four little cakes. Could have done the gold a little more gold, but this will be okay. need to this won't be long at all ready for piping it's like pretty much it's pretty much there <laughs> but I'm gonna wait just a few more minutes to make sure it's okay it could be stiffer Anyway, I'm going to catch y'all off for a, just a minute. Um, cut the camera off and let this firm up. And then I'll be back. Oops. Hi guys, I'm back. I was going to pipe these cupcakes and this little mini cake. And this is, again, this is the Chanel number no. 5 scent. My piping in my piping bag. I hope everybody's having a great day wherever y'all are at. much because then it's harder to pipe. Okay. Oops, I didn't do my little dollop. This smells pretty good. I'm not, personally, I'm not much of a, um, I guess florally person. I like fruity and edible scents. But this smells pretty good. It'll be a pretty good one for Valentine's Day, I would think, coming up. It never fails when you start recording the fun 
starts ringing. But whoever it is, we'll just have to wait. A weird little goopy over there. That one looks kind of crooked. Oh well. I never said. That I'm an expert piper. I'm going to have to mix up some more batter for the soap cake, for the icing for the soap cake. I mean, yeah. We got what's in. Okay. Because I don't think I have enough for that. I love making soap cupcakes. It's just fun. Let's see. I have enough to go around once with some little. Tulips. Yeah, just enough. Somebody is bugging me. No, I don't. No, nobody bugs me. I'm just, you know how it is. Like I said, it never fails when you're trying to do something. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is decorate the tops a little bit. Got some little sugar pearls that I'm gonna drop on them. Most of them fall off, but maybe some of them will stay on there. We shall see. Oop, there's one. Run away.
put extra on there in case some of them fall, then there will still be a few on there. And they're going everywhere. Come here, you. Okay. Yes. Now, I thought it would look good with a little bit of gold glitter. I got a bunch of those little puffer bottles from Be Scented and I haven't put my gold in there yet, so fingers will do. If you haven't made cold processed soap coat cakes before, you need to try it because they're, they're just fun to do. And they make great gifts. That looks pretty. That little soap cake looks kind of plain, but I think it'll be okay. Next time I'll make a little bit more batter to do on. Anyway. There is my soapy cupcakes. Pick them up a little closer. So you can see. They look kind of cute and they smell good. That Chanel number no. 5 dupe smells pretty good. You know, anyway, there is the Chanel number no. five soap cupcakes in the mini cake. Thanks a lot for watching. Y'all have a great day.